Move the bushes out the way. Could it be? Well, y'all, so I'm out here today exploring a new creek, trying to see what I can find. This is not far from my Native American creek where I get all that pottery, so hopefully we'll get onto some awesome stuff. I just made the first discovery right there. Actually, two finds. We have an older mason jar lid liner, porcelain liner. Some type of toy here. Ah. Looks like it's not going to work. Now, how did that get in the creek, y'all? <laughs> well, we're off to a good start. Let's keep on looking. I think we're going to do pretty good in this creek. If we can find us some gravel bars, might get onto some arrowheads. That's the goal, but you never know until you walk them. So, we'll see how far this goes. I have no idea. I imagine at least goes a quarter mile or so that way, but oh look, a bottle, complete bottle. <laughs> oh, if I don't break it, it's really slimy. That's like a 1940s cold cream jar. I'll take that. Keeps getting better and better, don't it? We've already got the jar and over here, I see something else. I don't know what that is, it's like a bike or something, yeah. Look at that, y'all. Down here in the creek. I mean, I'm not too far from some houses, so it makes sense that somebody left it out in the yard and a big flood came and washed it down in here. One of the great things about creek walking is you never know what's gonna be around the next bend. Never walked up here before, so this is unexplored territory. I don't think anybody else has walked this creek either. Ooh, this looks good. Look at that right there, y'all. The second bike of the day. Been out here like five minutes. <laughs> yep. And it's falling apart as well. Definitely a lot of activity in this area. What is this? A battery? No, what is that? Some type of appliance. There's the cord. And all this just washed up. Look, there's another mason jar lid liner. This looks like an area where you'll actually find some older stuff. What is that? That looks like it could be pottery. Nope. Some type of asphalt, I reckon. See if we can make it through this mess. All kinds of trees down. Gotta watch out for snakes too. It's April and I know they're out. All right, what is that? Ah, oh, spider. I don't like spiders. That's some type of cage. And before animal. I think the animal is not in there. Definitely a cage. I don't see anything in it. There's just so much stuff out here, y'all. You can't pick it all up. You get weighed down. Wow, there's a big piece of concrete right there. All right. Watch out for snakes, y'all. It'd be a good place for a copperhead. A little soccer ball. If I can get it, it's slimy. Not bad, we'll put it right here for now. Should've brought my dump truck. <laughs> There's all kinds of stuff that's washed up through here. This is what happens, y'all. When it floods, everything goes to the lowest places around the creeks. There's some more of that wall right there. Weird. Let's let this creek goes that way, and it goes that way. Which way should we go? I say the road less traveled. Let's go this way first. I don't know what that is. I don't know if we want to dig it out. Seems like a lot of work. All right. Like I said, we don't have long, y'all. It's six o'clock right now, so it's gonna be dark in less than two hours. Wow. Look at that big old cliff right there. So there might be some old bottles in here. 
see if we can find them live on camera for y'all. So I'm just gonna keep this thing rolling. There's a broken bottle of some type. Ooh, little fish. Man, yeah, you'd think some arrowheads washed out of that. I don't think this goes any farther, y'all. Unless you wanna walk up through there. We could, I see a bottle right there. Hold on. We're gonna get through this. It's a new bottle, very new. Let's keep going through here. Oh yeah, this looks pretty good over here. Ugh, spider web. <sighs> Spiders are no fun. Looks like a bottle right there, y'all. Yep, another little jar. Man, this looks really good. I mean, we're getting back in here where most people would never walk. I just made an unexpected find throughout here. Looks like some type of vape. Man, what a tree. Got a big root base. See what's in here. What if there was an animal in there? <laughs> Y'all'd see it before I would. Well, would you look at that? We have us a buggy. Somebody stole a buggy, or somehow it got out here. I don't think there's any stores, grocery stores nearby. See if there's a name on it. Looks like it has a town. Or some name, I can't get it out. We'll go around to the other side here. That's kind of interesting for this stream. Yeah. It's red, so what store is that, y'all? Like a pharmacy or something? There's a baseball. Let's see if anybody signed it. Uh-oh! Jab! <laughs> well, whoever Jab is, you lost your ball, man. Oh man, it's about to get good over here. Looks like we have a boom box. Or some type of radio here. Emerson? I think that's what it says. Maybe it went out of a car. I don't know. Whew. I'm moving pretty quick up this creek. I'm not walking it very slow, so... Just kind of getting an idea what's out here. Man, this bedrock right here, this clay, looks amazing. Oh yeah, we're getting onto an old area. Maybe we'll find some old bottles. Good place to come back and look for gold. I should have brought my pan. It's a beautiful day, that's for sure. There's a sofa. Wow, this is definitely the, the spot where all the stuff's at. There's a dry erase board. That's an older bottle there. It's like a Pepsi Cola. Now that would have been nice. Probably 50s. All kinds of junk down in here. It's like a tunnel up ahead too. Whatever's on the other side of that tunnel. May just have to wait. The creek definitely continues though. I'm gonna walk back all the way down to where it split off and check out that other section of the creek and maybe we'll find something good there. So let's get to it. Almost missed one. Another bike right there. Or a little tricycle. And all those sticks. Looks like a bowling pin, y'all. Yep, sure enough. Let's wash it off a little bit. That's an old one. Been there a while. That's exactly what that is. 
an old bowling pin. I wonder if they got a strike. <laughs> I bet somebody took that home from the bowling alley. Unbelievable, y'all. You just never know what you're going to find out creek walking. A bowling pin, out of all things. I'll take that. Somebody's walked here. It's a footprint, so... There's their shoe right there. Found another tricycle over here. Look at that. Washed up there from the last flood we had. What's that round thing right there, y'all? Kind of weird. It's off of something. Almost feels like porcelain. Huh? You know what it's off of? It's a wheel off the Flintstones car. It's exactly what it is. This is the best time of the year to be out walking in the woods. Everything's green. It's pretty. And you can spot the old house sites just because all the flowers will be bloomed out. Back in a creek. This is a different one. We're going to give it a try though. It's a branch off that first creek as well. That's clay on the bottom of the creek. Good old clay. Just want to give y'all a quick reminder that I'm having a Nugget Noggin live metal detecting event on May 15th down in Rock Hill, South Carolina. So if any of y'all would like to participate, click the link in the video description below or go to nuggetnoggin.com slash event to get signed up. It's going to be a seated hunt where I'll have thousands of silver coins buried as well as some of my own personal relics. Ugh, spider webs. I'm not going to have spider webs, but I uh, have some of my own relics and there will be lots of prizes for y'all to find. We'll have metal detectors, I'll have the AT Pro, some Apexes, Pro Pointers, possibly an AT Max, and so much more. And I'm also going to be giving away a gold coin, other silver bars, silver rounds, and stuff like that. So, it's going to be a lot of fun. What is that, y'all? Looks weird. Some type of gun. Oh, yeah. There we go. It goes that way. Looks like it's broken. A little toy gun. I reckon it's a toy. <laughs> I think so. Nothing moves. It feels plastic. Made in China. Well, who would have guessed? I don't see any other markings on it. Yeah, I guess it's missing the barrel. It had to be. Well, crazy find for the creek, considering I'm like out here in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> oh well, I'll take it. You've got to be kidding me. You won't believe what I just eyeballed right here. On the bank of the creek. Y'all see it? Let me move the bushes out the way. Could it be? Woody! <laughs> Woody the sheriff! What are you doing out here, man? Looks like he's had a rough life. Let me fix your hat for you. Sure enough. Now that is unbelievable. <laughs> Woody from Toy Story, y'all. Now how did he get out here in the creek? Maybe Buzz Lightyear would be out here as well. I'll keep looking around this bend. They're usually close together. Crazy, y'all. I found Sheriff Woody from Toy Story. You just never know what you're gonna find out here in the creek. Anything is possible, y'all. It's a weird bottle. I think that's a bottle. Yeah, that's a weird. Ew. Got gross stuff in it. What is that? Why does it have a blue dot on there? Looks like a weird symbol, too. Let's dump it out. Yeah, a little chip on it. Some type of symbol. I don't know if y'all can make that out. Looks like a... Oh, I see it now. It's a rooster. Hmm. I wonder how old this is. Maybe 1960s or so. Well, before it gets dark, I figured I'd wrap it up. I'm going to continue to explore, though. No telling what else we'll find down the creek there on the way back to the truck. 
But it's been an amazing hunt so far. I'm really glad I came out here today. Only had a few hours. If y'all have enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click that bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Here's the finds. We have Woody the Sheriff. The man has seen better days, hasn't he? <laughs> also have this gun, toy gun. A few old bottles, cold cream jars. Kind of cool, I'll keep those. Have a little thingy-ma-bob there. Mason jar lid liner from like a 1930s or so mason jar. Also got a bunch of other things like that shopping cart, the bowling pin, and a bunch of bicycles. So it was an amazing hunt. Thank y'all so much for watching. And until next time, y'all have a good one and God bless. And for those of y'all that are still here, that's amazing. It means you watch all the way through till the end. You're a dedicated viewer. Really appreciate that. I don't know if y'all can see that. I'll try to zoom in. I just walked up on a little deer. It's about right there. My finger's at. I thought it was a person at first. It spooked me. There he goes. But there was an old house site up in there. A lot of ivy. So, may have to do some research in this area and come back with the metal detector. Never know what we'll find. Found another bike. This is unreal. Little princess bicycle. Right by the creek. It's almost like people are just purposely dumping them here.